Hello and welcome to Channel Sports on SoMB. My name is Ken Ochonogo. I tell you, uh, in the next 75 minutes or so, we'll go through the very best that is happening in the world of sport. The charity they say begins at home. So in the next, how many, how many hours from now, that is tomorrow, at the close of day tomorrow, Monday, the 9th of March, 2015. Channel's Kids is seven Lagos, in Lagos. For those of you in Lagos, you have up till tomorrow to pick and submit your forms. It's not rocket science. The names of the 21 players or so that you have and their passport, and that you can collect it and submit it. Tomorrow is the last date. No extension. No, it's not, for, not even for a minute after tomorrow. If your school is not part of it, then in Lagos, forget it. We're talking about national, you know. So that is the Channel's Kids. Channel's National Kids Cup. It's not local Lagos, but I know we are talking Lagos, a locality where we are, but then it is the national, that is just the prelim, the qualify. Other states are playing, are playing the qualifiers, or whatever. some of them would have played, and the state champions would have emerged. So when it becomes the national, 16 teams that will come for the champion of champions, that which will culminate in the final, of, you know, on May the 27th, uh, 2015, the seventh edition, season seven, channel National Kids Cup. Tomorrow, Lagos State, Lagos, a co and pick up your form and submit. And you know, come to our corporate headquarters here at Isheri North or Lagos State Football Association at Onikon, uh, Onikon Stadium there and, you know, on the island. So you have up to tomorrow and we still accept your forms if it comes in. You can download it, you know, on our website and get it done. So that is it. And then during the week also, we lost an icon, uh, somebody who has championed table tennis. Uh, Chief Moladi Okoyatomos. I mean, uh, non, I don't think it, it, there is any sport in this country uh, because formerly we're, we're having the, uh, I think the Igbenedion, Igbenedion Tennis Classic there at, you know, Okada to Okada. You can talk about uh, Lord Rumens, a lot of them, but they all come and go. But uh, the, as, as you this cup has been there from way back, I can remember 75, 76, is a long time that we lost him. But let's say that it's continuing, because the family says we are going to keep it up. Uh, table tennis, wonderful. Uh, it's one of those sports where you don't actually get hot, where you exercise, and yeah, they've done a, a lot better. And then uh, we, we still continue with the money. Money, pack while you're taking on Mayweather. May second, the countdown, they've all gone to camp. Everybody has started training, they're raging, they've been posting what they are doing from day one. We took about all access 24, it will come up, we shall follow them. Where is your money? 50 cents says, I am putting one million pounds on Mayweather. They, they were friends who were off, but the guy said, where money is concerned, my money is on the money man. I'm putting one million pounds. Where is your own money? And then we'll come back because, yes, authoritatively I can tell you, by midweek, Tim Cash and Team NFF will meet. They will meet <laughs> to discuss the final segment of the contract. So we shall give you up to date today, just like we did last week, on this, some great areas. Probably we think probably this is where the conflict might be on that particular contract. A personal contract that becomes a public issue, but then that is how it is. It is Channel Sport on Sunday, and I'm going to ask him because on Monday, it will be Manchester United taking on Arsenal. Tire, which team goes trophyless? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's a difficult question, and I, I hope you're not trying to put me in a uh, tight spot. Yeah, but, I see a simple no, question. I mean, um, oh, goodness, you probably should just rephrase and say, will Arsenal <laughs> be able to defend the FA Cup they won last year? Okay, okay. Yes, it, it, might, it, it, it looks possible, they have, but they have to go past Manchester United. Yeah. Manchester United, we all know what, it goes, what goes on anytime they get to play themselves. It's going to be a difficult game for both teams, but I mean, we will enjoy good football. I, I can say that authoritatively. Put your money where your mouth is. Wow. Well, okay, my mouth is going to stay short. <laughs> but but I, 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 some people uh, have asked me to support Manchester United, and I think Arsenal will give up a good show as well too. So it's difficult to actually stake money right now. Where would you be staking your money, Manchester United? Any, uh, but I, I, the thing is, you don't want to say anything, but I pity you because Bada and Larry will be on this set with you in a few minutes from now. And <laughs> how you are going to handle them is your own cup of tea. <laughs> so that's why I have to be careful. <laughs> that's why I'm being careful in, in sticking and, and actually say, but it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a beautiful game, like you did say, but then Larry will come and analyze and tell us what to expect yeah. from that particular encounter. All right. Uh, well, we, we, well I, I, I'm trying to walk out a little, step aside and do come back. But when we come back again, you will see me temporarily. You will see uh, uh, Tayo and his crew, and they will tell you, that Niger the global Nigerian Premier League, it started yesterday, but it rained and rained and rained, but the match also went on. It is China Sport on Sunday. You have nowhere else to go. Keep the remote hidden till the next 75 minutes.
tracks, well, they really have been having it all to do since they won the Wapu Cup uh, a long, long time in the past. It's been uh, an, a, a situation of trophylessness for them. They would want that to change as quickly as possible as the two sides file onto the pitch. These are two sides who know each other very well. These are whose two sides uh, that uh, don't need any introductions. Sharks as the guests. And a great game indeed, off to a crackling start. Uh, Dolphin, uh, Sharks rather taking on Sunshine Stars. And the first speculative attempt was from Dio Ojo. It didn't do much damage. But then Degoke, the man with the little left foot, sending that one straight at goalkeeper James Ayeyemi. It didn't do much uh, harm either. But uh, Sunshine Stars kept asking the question. That one just shaving the crossbar again from Dio Ojo. And uh, it's uh, the home side Sharks, actually, that have been on the back foot here. Another look at that attempt uh, from Bayo Ojo. And uh, it just uh, flew over the crossbar. Even uh, the jumping James Ayemi couldn't get his fingertips to it. On the other hand, uh, Sharks not to be outdone, attempting that effort that just called over the crossbar from Odinga Odinga. It didn't uh, do any harm. But uh, it just shows how the opportunities have not been uh, really coming thick and fast in this game. Odinga Odinga again. Sending that one across, and this time Danlo the Isa was called to duty and uh, it seemed to deal with it adequately. Strongly built uh, Danlo the Isa, and then that effort from Mutu Adegoke going all the way over there to smash it with the left foot, where the goalkeeper gathered the ball up. And again, uh, goalkeeping, good goalkeeping uh, from Danla the Isa. He seems to have re received the knock in the, the back. That uh, he's a very strong and very fit man. You will expect him to get back to his feet. That was uh, how he stretched himself and uh, perhaps almost overstretched himself in the process, but not quite. The first half, having come with all these uh, action. Victor Ezurike on your screen, Taminito, uh, his nickname and of course uh, uh, the pillar of uh, the Dolphins uh, defense. And so a whole lot expected, a new season, new hopes for the clubs. Uh, Guim uh, will be hoping to uh, get goals uh, this season, the former Rangers man. And there they come again, an opportunity and the left foot head one across the face of goal. Slightly selfish from Ifanye Guim. Almost getting the pass through, but it's still Para United. They look good. Audu, Akim Audu now. Akim Audu looks up. He decides what to do with the ball. A very confused pass. It didn't seem to be for anyone in particular. There were only blue shirts where he played that ball to, and you wonder again how he cannot.